Hey everybody, Michael Posnick with Century 21 Northumberland. Welcome to my not-so-weekly Prince Edward Island real estate market report. And what's going on here in the uh, in Charlottetown and across the island? So essentially the big news is the monthly Korea Canadian Real Estate Association stats were released, which is based on our data set, the PEI MLS. And they're saying sales are down. And that seems to be indicative right across North America. The question being, is that because there's a lack of buyers or a lack of product? Uh, right now, I personally have almost 1,500 searches set up for buyers. So I'd say there's a lack of product, not a lack of buyers. And I do have a long list of buyers that would purchase completely sight unseen a number of different properties. Everything from waterfront land to farmland to building lots. High-end, low-end cottages, recreational, luxury, Charlottetown, Stratford, uh, Summerside, anywhere in between. You know, on the island as far as recreational, they go anywhere from Surrey to North Cape. Uh, so there's lots of buyers out there. We just need the product, and I think that's why they're indicating that sales are down, not just in this market, but right across North America, Canada, and the U.S. This week I listed, I think, four properties. So we have a very exciting property, 7 Cemetery Road in New Glasgow, with a view of the river and Glasgow Hills Golf Course. So that's on for $599.9. It's almost 3,000 square feet with an attached double car garage on almost an acre and a half in Cornwall. We've listed 522 Capital Drive, which I just made a video this morning on. More of an investment property. Uh, it's almost an acre and a half of waterfront with potential for subdivision and possibly even commercial uh, development retail. It sits on a high traffic uh, road, uh, primary road, the Trans Canada, which leads from West Royal to Charlottetown to Cornwall. So that just came up. We have, what else? A piece of land in Monticello, several acres. Land is starting to sell. We've had lots of inquiries in the Gasparo acreage I listed last couple weeks ago that sold with uh, interest for multiple people. Uh, what else did we list? We listed a beautiful luxury home, 152 Heritage River Road, and that is on for 1.25 million. Absolutely gorgeous house. There is a video coming up on that. It was built by somebody in the construction industry for himself, and it exceeds the quality of most homes you're going to see, and we actually have a showing on that today. So 7 Cemetery, 152 River Road, 522 Capital, the land in Monticello, and there's probably something else. We've got the campground in Cavendish that has been reactivated on the market. It is probably one of the larger campground operations in the Cavendish Resort area. That's 192 Cape Road. You can check that out. Uh, we outlined what we're looking for. Now is a great time to list. You basically have two selling seasons, spring to the middle of summer. Everyone's on vacation. They go golfing. They go wherever, depending on COVID, obviously, the last couple of years. And then it picks up right now as back to school is in progress, and it goes strong right until just before Christmas. And then the weather will indicate what the market is going to be like come the new year. If the weather is nice, there will be buyers in January, absolutely guaranteed. So thank you very much for watching this Not So Weekly PEI Real Estate Update. For more videos like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell beside it. Have a great day. Thanks for listening.